John Borgia is the brother of Cesare Borgia, brother of Lucrezia Borgia, son of Rodrigo, his favorite son, the eldest son, and he's gonna become really quickly Duke of Gandia, Prefect of Rome, Prince of Tricarico, and maybe King of Naples. In the story, he's a young man, quite lost, I guess, but it's, it's always really hard for me to define a character as I'm playing it, because in a way, I, I, I always thought that that would be the audience who would define the character and how it is. I always try to not judge my characters, especially this one, because I really needed to find a humanity in him, a kind of sincerity, because obviously he's quite naughty and he's a bad boy, but he's also a human being with feelings and so I needed to find the truth in him. Within the story, He's going to become captain general of the people guard, so he's going to have a lot of responsibilities. It's going to be hard for him to manage it because he's quite impulsive, quite instinctive. He's quite a good opposition to Cesare. Obviously, to work with uh, Tom Fontana, to work in in my second language, which is English, and the opportunity to, to to play a character who is so complex, you can still identify a lot of characters today, a lot of real persons as one and he's free of anything. He doesn't have any border, he doesn't have any frontier. He just do what he wants, when he wants, which is extremely attractive, especially for a young actor. The first thing I did is like, I guess everyone did. I just went on the internet, tagged uh, Juan Borja on Wikipedia and those kind of internet websites. I didn't find much about him, so I bought some books and then I met Tom who was such an amazing source of information, better than any encyclopedia. So at this point I decided to trust Tom and to be really close to him, to ask him whatever I needed. I didn't want to stick my interpretation on, a, on an idea of what I read about him, about Juan Borgia. So finally I didn't do so much research, I just trusted my instincts and trusted Tom. I really started to work on it as we started shooting beginning of October, when I started to learn more about him. That's where everything happened. And I, that's where I found out that the guy was really nervous and was always on age. I loved this idea of interpreting a character who is always on the edge, always on a kind of borderline. And that was the case for Juan. And so I tried to physically draw his presence. In my, in my mind first and then physically I, I worked on how he could walk, how he could talk, why his head would be like this and not like this. I found really important the way he listened because you have so many scenes in those kind of TV shows, especially in this one, you have so many scenes where you just have to stand up and listen what is happening because you have a lot of information coming on. And I really, really learned a lot by listening to the other actors and I found, out, I found out a lot about my character because in a way Juan is not really attentive to what's happening to the events around him. He's so focused on himself and how to please his father, how to try to do everything good that he just forget to be just attentive, just open his eyes and open his mind to what's, what's happening around him. I think that the art department did a wonderful job because every time I stepped in a, I stepped in, in a new set, I was always like, it's amazing. It's absolutely wonderful. I could believe it. You just feel the history. It's really accurate. What I like about all my costumes, uh, they're quite heavy, and so you can really feel them. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's quite cool as well, <laughs> to be honest. They really make you feel at this period, especially with the armor, which is really heavy and not really, not really comfortable, but it allows you to, to be really into it, in a way. And uh, I think they're also really beautiful. I have a lot of really, really cool different outfits. It brings you a lot of charisma and a lot of presence on screen as well. So working with all of those different directors was absolutely awarding. In a way, I don't know if it makes sense, but I just find it really intensively helpful 
because you can switch your own every day you can learn something more about yourself about yourself as an actor about yourself as a character so everyone brought something to my character every single director brought something new to my character to Juan Borgia and that was really enjoyable because you just think all right they're not just here to direct a TV show but also to build and to create some characters and they always had the sensitivity to just let you develop and bring your own ideas to the characters and to the scenes which is not so usual in this business so I really enjoyed working with all of them I just read the first script and I couldn't I couldn't stop I was like really hooked and then I just thought that's absolutely brilliant writing brilliant dialogues brilliant situations the bad guy you remember are the one you love the one you can get attracted to the one you can identify to and the one you will regret at the end so Juan Borja was a blessing gift for me living in Prague was a wonderful experience, especially because I moved in with Mark Ryder, who was playing Cesare Borgia, we became really friends, so we had a kind of roommate, a flatmate. And that was really enjoyable, I, we became friends, which is pretty rare in this business, I think, to become so close from another actor. You always have a lot of different stuff going on, and that was absolutely enjoyable to be able to create such a strong relationship with an actor. So we left, we, we lived together in this apartment and living in Prague was absolutely wonderful. It's a beautiful city, people are quite welcoming and quite warm. The crew is absolutely lovely. And yeah, we, we had a wonderful time in Prague. I enjoyed so much to shoot this TV series that I hope that the people are gonna enjoy it, enjoy it as much as I enjoyed shooting it. But. I don't think so much about that because I guess they're not going to see what I saw. It's impossible. But I hope they're going to see something as strong and as powerful as I did. Come. We must do Rome.